Right now in the DevEds community, we're debugging ARM Cortex-M microcontroller firmware. We brought on Umesh, who's our resident embedded expert. Umesh, what are some of the places that developers uh, get off course when they're debugging microcontroller firmware? So debugging is challenging, Brandon, not only for the early professionals, even for the experienced developer. It is because the knowledge of tools and techniques really takes a time to really expertise in. So that's a real reason why the debugging is really challenging for many professionals. Great. You've obviously been doing this a really long time, Imash. So you've seen lots of developers go down a lot of wrong paths. What's one of the more simple ones that could be avoided pretty easily that, that you see developers encounter? So I seen very often the embedded developer try to debug the application by just printing the variable value or debug information on the serial terminal or something like that. Or sometimes the people kind of use this IO pins and toggle the LEDs and manually try to, you know, guess and debug onto the hardware. But that's not really scalable. That only works for the smaller projects where the code complexity is less. As soon as the code complexity increases for the bigger projects, it's become very, very complex. And then you have to really have a professional tools where you look inside every line of the code and see what's going on. And even in fact, to address this issue, I have created a demo where I'm going to show you step by step how you can professionally debug your application line by line instead of just printing onto the serial terminal software. So here you can see I have created a project named debug and you can see I have this variable created count variable so that increments every one second of the delay. It's very simple program. So the goal is just to monitor this variable value count. We are not printing this count onto the serial terminal or something like that. Rather, we are just using the built-in debugger on SCM32 board, and then we will going to monitor this value. So let me get into the debug session. So let me click on this debug button on top menu bar. So this take a couple of seconds to enter into the debug session. Okay, now you can see the code execution is at the top, all in it. If I can scroll down a little bit here, you can see here's the count variable that we are interested in to monitor. So let me copy this count variable. And then I'm going into this live expression. Let me add this variable because we want to monitor this variable value. So you can see the count variable value is zero here. So let me click on this resume button here. And as you can see, the count value start incre incrementing by one, every one's a second. But what we see is we can able to get the information about the count variable. But then what if we want to debug the code line by line? As you can see, this variable is at the line 102. What if we want to add the breakpoint here? Let me just suspend this debug session. Okay, let me take you to the main.c file here. And on this line of code, like 102, let me add the breakpoint. So let me right click and say add breakpoint and then click on apply and close. And you can see there's this icon which says that we added a breakpoint on line number this 102. That's where the count variable is. So let me resume the code execution back again into the debug session. And you can see the code execution is at 102 line here. So as soon as I click on the step over, you can see it goes to next line of code. When you click again, it goes to next line of the code. You can see now we can really be able to step through every line of the code. And you can see at the same time, as soon as I click, you can see the variable value also start incrementing one by one. Okay, so that's basically how you can leverage on the professional debugger where you can see what's going on at every line of the code. And clearly, Amesh, the more complicated the program, the more sophisticated and nuanced it becomes, the more advantageous it is to use a professional debugger like you just showed us. Um, of course, this isn't the only use case where using a professional deb uh, debugger can, can help. Uh, I'm sure you've seen countless other ways where developers sort of get off course a little bit um, with their debugging efforts. Can you explain some of those? Yeah, there are a lot of places, you know, sometimes the developer wants in a bigger project to add a multiple breakpoints and then managing those multiple breakpoints is a little bit challenging on a bigger source code. Also, you know, sometimes only having the information about the variable or the code is not enough. Sometimes you really want to trace and analyze the data as a debug information. So you really want to plot into some sort of, you know, some image or something like that. Even sometimes you can log the data. You want to log the data and then analyze it later further to solve the bigger firmware related issue. So those are like, you know, on a much more bigger problems that you can able to solve using a debugging techniques. Great. So if somebody's looking to find more information or get a little bit of assistance doing some professional level debugging, 
where can they go? For help or to learn more, you can visit the DevHeads GitHub repository from where you can download all the content for the demo. And also you will find me under the DevHeads Discord server where I'm available to ask all the questions related to debugging and firmware related issues. I will be found under the username at the rate Umesh Lokande. He's at Umesh Lokande, I'm at TechiLu, and there are a host of other engineering experts that you'll find on hand to assist in the DevHeads Discord server, which is linked to on screen and in the description below. Check it out, we'll see you in the server.